Today we've released Qt 5.12 and I'm really happy with all the work that has gone into that release. I'd like to thank the community and everybody who has been working on Qt 5.12. Qt 5.12 is special. As a long-term supported release, it will receive updates for the next three years to come. A lot of things come together with Qt 5.12. We've literally fixed thousands of bugs and had a strong focus on performance and stability of the product. As one example, we've reduced the memory consumption of QML applications and improved their performance. And if you're still on Qt 5.6, please remember that it won't be supported for very much longer anymore. Of course, Qt 5.12 also comes with a lot of new features. Let's go through some of the highlights. We've done a lot of work on Qt Quick. First of all, we've upgraded our JavaScript support to be ECMAScript 7 compatible. In Qt Quick controls, we've added a table view element and the new input handling framework will simplify your touch and gesture handling for you. Qt Remote Objects is now fully supported and simplifies communication between different processes. One frequently requested feature by our users is to be able to access and use Qt UIs remotely. The Qt WebGL streaming plugin will help you there. We've also continued our work on Qt for WebAssembly, which is now released as the second technology preview. With Qt for WebAssembly, you can bring your Qt application to any modern browser. I'm really happy to announce that we're now also adding official support for Qt for Python. Everything you can do with C++ in Qt, you can now do with Python instead. We've also focused a lot on our tools. With Qt Creator 4.8, we're now using a Clang-based code model for C++ by default. You can now debug multiple processes simultaneously and we are supporting many new languages through the Language Server protocol. We have introduced two new tools, Qt Design Studio and Qt 3D Studio, that help bring developers and designers closer together. Using those tools, designers can participate much more efficiently in the development of your application. They can take assets from third-party tools such as Photoshop, Maya or Blender and import it into Qt Design Studio or Qt 3D Studio. They can then process it and create exciting user experiences. Developers can then seamlessly combine that design with the application logic. The Qt Virtual Keyboard has gained support for a lot of new languages and now even supports handwriting through the MyScript technology. I'm really happy to see how far we've come with Qt since we released the first version of Qt 5 six years ago. Qt 5.12 is a fantastic release. And I'd like to thank once again everybody who helped make it possible. So go ahead and download Qt 5.12 today.